Good evening. For a long time, you have been struggling with the idea of a deeper reality, another level of consciousness, a something that is just beyond your comprehension. You have wondered what is coming next, for you can feel yourself on the edge of a cliff, looking over. That time is almost upon us. I am speaking in an effort to wake you up. I will not present a video message for you, for in the proliferation of images we have lost the ability to see. We see with our eyes, but we comprehend nothing. We are bombarded with images, yet they remain lifeless and void of meaning. I am the voice in your head, and my message to you is simply this. Listen, 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 listen. Listen, 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 listen to what your spirit has to say to you. If the hair on the back of your neck is standing up about now and goosebumps are popping up on your skin, then pay attention to what I am about to say. Spirit always calls to spirit and deep always calls to deep. The message is simply this. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! You have been living in a dream, living in a fog. As a species, we are about to wake up from our collective sleep. Timing and our circumstances are all aligning to help end this sleep cycle. We are standing on the edge of a cliff and in jumping off, will become awake and aware. All of your life you have been looking for answers. Let me give you some guidance here. There are no pat answers. There is no book, no holy guidance from above, no philosophy, no psychology, no theology that will give you the answers. These things may be helpful, but they cannot give you the answers because you must figure it out for yourself. Truth has to be your truth. It must ring true in your spirit or else everything that follows will become a lie. You wonder what your purpose in life is? Your purpose in life is to be awake, to be aware, and to live in the present moment. Be very wary of those who tell you that once awakened, you must follow their truth, believe their philosophy, concur with their system of belief in order to find completeness. The world is full of groups that have carefully drawn out their boxes, their belief sets, and postulated that your true awareness is dependent on how fully you embrace their belief set. These box groups have clearly drawn lines in the sand between us and them. They want you to join us, and they find their strength in getting others to agree with their positions and beliefs. Inevitably, the us group will demonize and brutalize the them group. History shows us this outcome time and again when we impose an A or B mentality. The world is neither A nor B. It is not either or. And in waking up, you will come to understand the unconsciousness of this position. If you need a guiding principle or philosophy to live by, some means to sift data, perhaps you can live by this axiom. Many things are not what they seem. This statement may help you to begin seeing and perceiving beyond visual sight and into the deeper realms of spirit. We are coming into a pivot point in the history of mankind. The old systems, the old paradigms, the old empires are groaning and crumbling, and if you listen closely, you can hear the metal tearing. This is what keeps you up at night. This is what causes you to grind your teeth and wake up with a headache. This is the fear you feel, and in your fear, you repress what your spirit is telling you. You refuse to believe your own best guide and are therefore at odds and at war with your very being. The world is operating in fear, 
and the only antidote is to wake up. It will not be solved with more war, more guns, more control, more domination, more money. This is the pivot point, the intensification of trying to keep a dead and dying system alive at any and all cost. You cannot escape this pivot point. You can only experience it. If you believe in reincarnation, you must understand that you have placed yourself at this particular point in time to participate in the pivoting of the human race. How you respond to this new experience is your choice. If you believe in a more monotheistic God, your choice is likewise how to respond in a godlike manner. And if you live with no belief framework, then you must still choose to respond to a system whose death throes are likely to strike out and damage anything they touch. There are no right answers here. Some will choose to fight the system as it resists change. Some will choose to lay down their lives. Some will choose a path of least resistance. There is no inherent right or wrong, but only consciousness versus unconsciousness. In waking up, you have joined this great awareness, this great change, this great pivoting of humanity. Some have postulated and believe strongly that Armageddon lies beyond this pivot point. All of their conscious, but mostly unconscious, actions have driven them toward this end. They are marching toward a great cremation. I don't believe the world must end in a fiery ball to be recreated. I believe we are created beings made in the image of a creator. His impulses and ours by design are to create and not to destroy. Destruction is one path, the path taken by the unconscious, but it is not necessarily the path that must be taken. It is only a choice. Recreation is another path. Diffusion and redirection another choice. We will all participate in the pivoting, and our choice as conscious beings is to discern which of the many paths we will follow. I have found my own path and will share it with you. It is a simple and progressive five-point manifesto. If this understanding works for you, then feel free to use it. If it doesn't resonate with your spirit, please disregard it. I offer it simply as a gift. Point number one, I will never seek to dominate another human being nor impose my belief system on them. Point number two, I will not initiate violence on another human being and will seek to avoid those situations in which violence is a desired outcome. Number three, I will not sanction violence against my person nor against those of my community. Number four, I will endeavor to always expand my definition of community to become more inclusive. And finally, I reserve the right to defend myself and my humanity against domination. I will use the least amount of force to deflect such efforts at domination. Remember who you are. Remember who you are. Remember who you are. Listen, 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 listen. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up.